क्वालिटी एंड वैल्यू प्राइसेस सो बेसिकली शारी मंगर का सबने नाम सुना होता है कि ही इज वेरी नॉन फॉर बाइंग क्वालिटी क्वालिटी स्टॉक्स एंड देर इज वन गाय हु इज बेन ग्राहम ही इज वेरी मच नॉन फॉर बाइंग स्टॉक्स एट वेरी चीप प्राइसेस वॉट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू इज वी आर ट्राइंग टू टेक वी आर ट्राइंग टू मेक फ्यूजन ऑफ दैट सो वी आर मेकिंग अस बाय वैल्यू स्टॉक्स क्वालिटी स्टॉक्स एट वेरी अंडर दी वैल्यू so i am going to present my uh, uh, this presentation i am going to share my screen can you see it yeah yeah we can i think it okay so it's uh, investing 101 and uh, i've given my introduction so a uh, uh, simple disclaimer because we are semi registered so we have to give is uh, uh, intrinsic value is semi registered and investment advisory whatever we say here on uh, or any public platform is uh, may no, may or may not be part of intrinsic value model portfolio and uh, whatever we are showing here is for study purpose and uh, whatever data we have taken from various uh, website we do not guarantee the accuracy of data because we have just taken that data okay so the objective of uh, this uh, presentation will be first we are going to talk about what we do how we do it then i am going to present to you 13 year extensive study the fact checks behind our uh, study तो हमने किया जो भी वैल्यू इन्वेस्टिंग का हम मेथोडोलॉजी uh, हमने फाइंड आउट किया उसके पीछे के फैक्ट्स क्या हैं उसके पीछे का नंबर क्रेंचिंग क्या है देन वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट टू बाय देन वी विल डिस्कस व्हेन टू बाय एट द एंड वी विल कवर द साइकोलॉजी पार्ट सो द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ वैल्यू इन्वेस्टिंग इज कैन बी फाइंड आउट बाय दिस स्लाइड तो विरोधा के को फाउंडर सेट दैट not even 1% active traders beat bank nerds so this this is not new actually everybody knows that and uh, the problem is that 1% beat and an, uh, fd and uh, 99% think that somehow by doing some improvisation they can come in that 1% what i suggest is if you want to keep doing trading that's that's a uh, good that's uh, your passion you should keep doing it but you should rigorously put some of your amount 40 50% in investing portfolio and you should focus on creating long term wealth from that fund so what we do and how we do it our focus is on big money we are not uh, in market for 20 30% return our strength is to get the right cycle as you can see in this picture the stock price goes Uh, up and then it goes down then it goes up so it does it because of the cyclical nature of the market so our strength is to catch those cycles at the right time and ride it to the fullest so that is how big money is created so we pick out out of favor quality stocks the quality stocks the sectors which are out of favor and we pick them at deep under valuation i will show you how we have picked a uh, lot of bottoms and how we have uh, tried to so sell the top also there is one problem in value investing and fundamental investing is har koi bolta hai acha kharido and buy low sell high but what is low and what what is high what is low like 15 ke pe pe kharidna hai 12 ke pe pe kharidna hai 10 ke pe pe kharidna hai and once you buy it after that went to sell 20 ke pe par sell karna hai 25 ke pe par sell karna hai 30 ke pe par sell karna to ek ye bahut bada gray area hai ki kahan kharidna hai aur kahan bechna hai fundamentals to theek hai zyada itna a kathin part nahi hai but when to buy and when to sell is a very uh, difficult part of fundamental investing so we have tried to solve that by our minimum and maximum value approach that i am going to show you okay 
so before i talk about my uh, framework i'm going to discuss with you 13 year case study that i did in 2018 so when things did not work out for me uh, uh, for four years of my investing journey i decided to take things in my hands instead of following people i decided to do it by my own i took the data for last 10 years extracted it from various websites the data i took was a uh, uh, famous famous parameter the the parameters people say that works in market so lot of people say that growth works in market growth mein sales growth hai capex growth hai profit growth hai cash flow growth hai then there is a quality the roc roe roa these these percentages in percentages and then there is a valuation some people say valuation is supreme कम पी पर खरीदो ज्यादा पी पर बेचो कम पी एस पी वाई एस पर खरीदो ज्यादा पी वाई एस पर बेचो एंड पी वाई बी एंड पी वाई सी एस सो वी डिड वट वी डिड वी मैप स्टॉक मार्केट रिटर्न विद दीज पैरामीटर वी मेड मोर देन हंड्रेड परमिटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन तो आई एम गोइंग टू शो ओनली फाइव टू सेवन आउट ऑफ देम विच वर द सिग्निफिकेंट वन but we did it for 100 and 120 permutation and combination after 10 year of back testing uh, from 2009 to 2018 we did 3 years of forward testing what i believe is as a fundamental investor or as a technical investor also you should take back testing only for reference because lot of times most of the times back testing works but will it work in time to come you always have to focus on forward testing so whatever strategy you make you forward test it for 2 years 3 years and then you put big money on it then you come in public and talk about it so that is what we did in 2018 we forward tested our strategy for 1 year 2 year and 3 years and when it worked for 2 years 2018 it worked 2019 it worked 2020 it worked then we came out in public and we decided to share it with some people while we were back, uh, forward testing we also invested our money and we created good cgr so that case study i am going to present so here is the chart of self growth versus 10 year returns basically what it is showing is the number of companies so these are basically 3000 companies Uh, 2500 companies which have 10 years data i did not include the companies which didn't have 10 years data because uh, they will not give me data they will not give me the result i cannot match that so here are the 10 year sales growth and here are the uh, cagr so as we can see that as the sales growth is increasing the cagr is also increasing as the sales growth is increasing as the cgr is also increasing so it's setting a very nice tone ki bhai growth works in stock market right but as i can see there are some areas where the sales growth is big but the cgr has not that been big so what are my win chances and what are my lose, lose uh, loss chances that i have presented it here so the green areas are where sales growth is also increasing and the cagr is also increasing so cagr uh, the stock is giving good returns when the sales growth is high but there are areas where even though where the sales growth is more the cagr is not more and where the sales growth is not that great cagr is great what i mean by great is nifty has given 12 to 13 percent returns over the 10 years so whatever has given more than 13 15 percent i am considering it the uh, outperformer so basically these are the outperformer these are the underperformer so one thing i found out that sales is a good indicator sales growth is a good indicator i did it for capex growth profit growth also that i will show but it's not a holy grail like log kehte hain ki growth hi sab kuch hai when growth comes stock performs 
so as we can see from this 10 year study that growth is not everything okay growth is good we can see a lot of uh, winners here so i decided to do it on other parameters also roc roc is a quality indicator a lot of people follow that and uh, uh, it is been followed rigorously by a lot of fundamental investors as we can see as the roc of company is growing the cagr of the possibility of cagr is also growing so roc is on x axis cagr is on y axis but here are the wins and loses of this this uh, indicator also the green areas are where roc is more and the cagr is also more but there are red areas where roc is way more but stock has not performed or where roc is less but stock has performed so i can say this is also not a holy grail like it works but not every every time so here are the other uh, parameters which i mapped against the return this is profit growth as you can see big uh, green area but you can see small small red areas also and p by e ratio lot of people say ki small p by e pe khareed lo zyada p by e pe bech do here are the returns small p by e par acche khasa hum logo dekh rahe hain ki good cagr is being made but there are also companies with less p by e also they have underperformed so this is an eye opening uh, thing for the people who say that p by e always works and there are also companies which are which have more p by e but uh bigger cagr so there are companies which uh, has given big returns with higher higher pe also so after i did it for 11 parameters and uh, none of them proved to be a uh, holy grail or i can say accurate indicator i decided to do a fusion if you uh, know a value investor named joel greenblatt he used to have this fusion of uh, roc and valuation so basically quality and valuation what he did was he used to rank the companies on the basis of roc he used to rank the companies on the basis of valuation which was uh, ev by ebita or p by e ratio and then he used to add those ranks and used to buy the top ones this is what he used to do so for illustration purposes i have put it psb bank so basically i have put a 12 psb bank here this is just for illustration purposes uh so we have a current market price we have market cap ev by beta roc so what i did i gave roc rank So 5.87 will get first rank. Uh, 5.81 will get second rank. 5.31 will get third rank. So I sorted from here. I gave 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. Then I sorted here. EV by EV beta lesser the EV by EV beta, greater the rank. Obviously, because valuation should be low. ROC should be high. So when I gave the value rank, like EV by EV beta rank. and then i did the total ranking i added both ranks and i saw ki kaun se aise stocks hain jo least ranking stocks hain because humko top ke stocks par focus karna this is for list question purpose i did the same for 2500 stocks and uh, here is the returns for that formula joel greenblatt called it magic formula so these are the returns of magic formula one great thing i find about this ranking system is ki i don't have to focus on the companies which are low ranking companies right i only have to focus on first 100 like if i am analyzing 2500 companies so i will only focus on top 100 top 150 companies i don't care what other companies are doing so as i can see some companies are giving good cagr there but i don't care i only care about the companies which are in 150 so basically i am caring for the companies which i would have bought according to this ranking system okay 
So this is the result for last ten years uh, magic formula. Now I can see very substantial green area. So that makes me and very small red area. So that makes me net profitable for ten any time. So the CAGR was uh, ten years was nearly twenty twenty one percent when I calculated for these top hundred companies. But we have to accept one thing that we are doing it in hindsight. We are doing this study in hindsight. So we have to focus. more on to increase the green area more because when we do the same exercise forward testing when we do same exercise from today there will be some error uh, in data there are there is always error in data so what we are focusing on is more and more green area and less and less red area so that even though some error comes in future when we are doing forward testing we should have at least this much of slack here so what are the other uh, what can be the other uh, parameters or other ranking system so this one was roce ev by ebita as suggested by uh, as suggested by joel greenblatt after that i made the same for sales growth and roce after that i made the same for roc and p by e. roa plus p by e ro uh, a plus p by e b ratio so all these parameters all these uh, i show I, i showed you so i made permutations and combinations of these parameters so there are 4 3 4 4 4 into 3 uh, into 4 so there are 48 permutations and combinations uh, not only 48 permutations and uh, the the group of two also so there were like more than Hundred and hundred twenty permutations and combinations. So some of them I am showing here. Sales growth plus ROC. This is I I can say this is more finer than the magic formula. As the rank is increasing, the possibility of CAGR is also increasing. So this is more finer. But there was one parameter which I liked way better was. and i made this my own intrinsic value ranking system this is sales growth roc c by b ratio so i ranked the companies based on c by uh, sales growth i ranked the companies on basis on roc and i ranked the company based on p by b this is the results that i am showing and as i can as you can see this is the magic formula this is the sales growth plus roc and this one is intrinsic value ranking this is growth quality valuation and you can see there are no red areas basically we what we are doing here we are uh, we are not having losers we are are um, so the stocks we are finding will have very 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 less possibility of having loser when i say loser i mean less than 15% cagr over the long term period when i calculated the cagr the average cagr of these companies for last 10 years it was 40.7% 40.7% is a kind of cagr uh, nobody has even ever made but this is from hand side so uh, it it can come plus minus 5 7 8%. So I improvised this ranking into our ranking system. So this is what was the study for last 10 years. I did the same study for next 3 years. And I found it very very helpful and I found it very very rewarding for us. The CAGR what what we got was more than 35% from this strategy and uh, but we improvised it what we did was so this is a three line strategy uh, we don't have to uh, you know go into the jargon that's the best part all we have to do is focus on numbers 
and we can focus on numbers and do the stock picking so what we have to do is we have to go to out of favor sector out of favor sectors you can find out by their uh, sectoral index like uh, nifty auto you can see so you can see nifty auto has not given any returns from last four years tobacco companies itc bst all the companies where they have not given for five years uh, you can uh, go to engineering and construction company you can go to real estate company so these are the com these are the sectors which have not given any uh, returns from last 10 to uh, 5 to 7 years so these are out of favor sectors if you are into fundamental investing if you are into the uh, checking the financial out of favor sectors are those where margins have been hit very uh, bad so you can check the margins the companies that margins which used to have 20% 21% 23% the margins have come down to 14 15% that can be because of mat that i will uh, discuss how out of favor what out of favor sector looks like so what you have to do is you have to go to out of favor sector you have to uh, rank them based on growth performance and valuation so in growth also sales growth performance rot valuation p by b then you have to remove all the companies that have market cap of uh, 200 i personally don't mind buying uh, market cap less than 200 also i have bought some micro caps and they have given uh, very good returns but i do not suggest it uh, because uh, there can be some liquidity issues in market cap less than 200 crores so i do not suggest it so you can uh, remove these ones and after that one thing you have to do is you have to do due diligence due diligence now due diligence is a big word uh, but i will tell you what are the three four things you can see so this is the uh, uh, this is the uh, this is the chart of auto ancillary companies which we did in 2019 2019 we sorted them on the basis of growth performance and value as you can see growth rank here sales sales growth three years growth rank here performance growth rank here and value rank here this is the total rank so these are the top five companies which have ranked uh, uh, which have top, which are the top five companies what i did was Yeah, are you uh, are you sure, are going to share this presentation with the member? Yeah, yeah. If you want, I can share. Ah, so then we will not take the note. We will concentrate on the on the presentation. Okay, thank you. Yeah, carry on. Okay, I will I will share the PDF part of it if you want. Okay. Yeah. I am also going to share. Okay, I was going to tell you at the end, but I am also going to share. Uh, we have actually automated it in the Google Sheet, so you don't Achha. have to do this exercise. You can just Very do good. the Google Sheet. and you can find out ki what are the top 3 companies i can focus on right very very good yeah so ha ye i am going to do this with aapke group ke members ke liye so uh, so what i did was i took instead of top 3 or top 4 top 5 what i did was i since i am a financial i have a, i have a this kida uh, for doing uh, this analysis business analysis what i did was i took six companies seven companies and i did my due diligence i checked their annual reports i did all that and i uh, i bought two companies one is gna excel and one is pm industry gna excel right now uh, we sold it for 6x in just two and a half years so it made us 6 6.5x nearly and uh, pm industry is still 3.5x we are still holding it we bought it at 350 uh right now i think it is uh, 1100 or something and we bought this one at 161 or something and right now uh, we sold it at uh, 900 or something this is what we did in 2019 now this is 6 months back hotels and restaurants uh this is hotels and restaurant sector when we uh, ranked these the first stock is apollo sindhuri Uh, as many of you can uh, see apollo sindhuri is a stock held by 
for NG Valiath. One more stock that we got in second ranking is the Bike Hospitality. You cannot see it here because here I have market cap ka laga ke rakha hai. For uh, 200 crore se kam ka market cap ka, I bought that company. Apollo Sanguri I did not buy uh, because uh, I have other parameters also of mine. So, and uh, we did this study. Apollo Sanguri came first. After one month, we got to know that uh, the Purnju Galia they have bought this stock. This is for hotel and restaurant. So you can use this uh, chart also because hotel restaurant is still out of favor factor. Third, we did it uh, three, four months back is real estate. We have uh, ranked it on growth, performance, value. The first company is Arvind Smart Space. Second is Marathon Next Gen. Third is Azmira Reality, Purvankara. For, three, for last three, four months also, they have done very well. We bought uh, Marathon out of them. And uh, we bought one more, which is not here in the market cap because of the market cap. Uh, this uh, we bought Marathon, which is already doubled, uh, I think, in last four five months. So this is for illustrative purpose for three sectors. I will share with you a Google sheet on which every sector will be there, and you can just go to the sector and you can check what are the top three, top four, whatever. What is your uh, you know level of understanding? Up top five leke, uska financial analysis karke top three or top koi bhi do companies kare sakte ho, ya jo bhi hai. But all but uh, sir, sir DLF D, hello uh, sir DLF is not in your list. That doesn't meet the criteria, is it? Uh, DLF must be some hair or something because there are two hundred companies, na sir. So two hundred companies mein aap kya karoge? Humne top uh, fifty kari dikhai hai. So, you will have to come to the 100th number of DLS. Okay, it's not the complete list. Okay, thank you. So, there are 200 companies in real estate. And uh, uh, we have shown top uh, 15, top 20. They must be in the below category. Also, sir, sir uh, I can see your list is having DB reality. This is your list, right? I had bought DB Reality in 2017 at the rate of 150, and now it's it's still there in your favorite list, where in the current market price is 20. It's not so I'm a bit confused here. It's not in the favorite list, sir. This is these top four and five are our favorites. So, so, so the the listed companies are your favorite company from the real estate. That is what you meant to say, or? It is all the listed companies from the real estate you are taking. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. Sir, which ranking should we consider? Growth ranking, performance ranking, value ranking? What total which ranking? Total ranking. So, here the total ranking is 102. So, 100. you mean that 102 is from the all sectors or it is only from the real estate sector? It is only from the real estate sector. And uh, this, this has the growth ranking of 18, performance rating of uh, 10. And value ranking of 74. That's how it came to 100. Okay. So it is. No, no, excuse me, sir. Which top is better? 100 and, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, which is better? 102 ranking is supposed to be better or 182 is supposed to be better? Obviously, 102, sir. But the ranking is not going to be better. Post type. There was a. Hello. Was any uh, formulas we are using for this? Uh, uh, ranking, uh, sir. We just show na, see what it is. See, this is the Excel. You can do this exercise also. So you all you have to do is extract the uh, data from any website. What you are using, like I took Canara Bank. I took. Uh, I had so. So basically, I I got uh, auto ancillaries. There were two hundred companies. So I, I have sales growth for three years. I have ROC growth for three years, and I have uh, P by B ratio for three for current P by B. So what I did, jiska sales variation sabse jada hoga, sales growth sabse jada hoga. See, uh, understand it like this: growth is good, so better, better the growth, good should be the ranking. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. So sales growth, जिसका ज़्यादा होगा, उसको हमने एक ranking दे दिया, 
उसका उससे नीचे रैंकिंग जिसका होगा दो दे, दे दिया तीन दे दिया चार दे दिया पांच दे दिया ऐसा कर दिया फिर आता है परफॉर्मेंस आर ओ सी आर ओ सी थ्री ईयर जिसका आर ओ सी सबसे ज्यादा होगा दैट विल बी दुड तो बेटर द आर ओ सी बेटर द रैंक जिसका आर ओ सी सबसे ज्यादा होगा एक दो तीन चार पांच छह सात आठ एंड पी बाई बी रेशो पी बाई बी रेशो इज वेल्युएशन मैट्रिक्स तो जितना पी बाई बी रेशो कम होगा उसकी उतनी अच्छी रैंकिंग होगी क्योंकि द स्टॉक यू आर फाइंडिंग ऑन वेरी चीप लेवल राइट राइट तो हाउ डू दे वर्क द लेसर द रेशो द बेटर द वेल्युएशन आर तो जितना कम उसका पी बाई बी होगा जैसे पॉइंट फाइव पी बाई बी वाला है नाइन्थ रैंक पर वन पॉइंट वन पी बाई बी रैंक है एक थर्टी फर्स्ट रैंक पर लेसर द पी बाई बी द बेटर द रैंक All you have to do is you have to add these three ranks, and you have, then you have to sort on the basis of lesser lesser ranks. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Nikhil, I will uh, take it this way for a layman. Uh, you know the ranking you have given. You know in the descending order. Suppose out of these auto ancillaries, I want to take hundred shares of top five companies. I will choose J and Axel's position, high tech gear like that. Yes. So I can. Okay, and this list also you will be updating every three months or something and for your customers. Actually, it is updated every day. Okay. So, because uh, quarterly results we, kabi aaj aagya kal aagya, aisa chalta hai ta na. So, it's going to be updated like every day, every two days. It's going to be okay. fully updated. So, the concept is very simple. Uh, sir, how do we come to know okay, what is the expected price now? For example, high tech gear is uh, CMP one twenty. Okay, so uh, how do we identify K in next three years? What will be the or what is the target? Okay, that I will that uh, I will say I'll I'm going to cover. Okay, so okay, so uh, concept is very simple. You don't take so these are low ranking stocks. I have not covered it. I have not covered two hundred companies here because it will be presentation. Me, banega. I have only covered like twenty companies. but you can understand that these are the low ranking stocks and these are the top 5 companies that we have to buy now these five companies you have to do some due diligence some amount of due diligence and then you can buy the company yes. so mr nikhil i have one question of course so you have considered several parameters uh, if you can show the previous chart uh, <clears throat> auto ancillaries okay <clears throat> okay all uh, the <clears throat> the growth rank everything but uh, what is the future for each of this company what is their uh, marketing strategy and uh, have you provided any ranking for that also so the market strategy you are talking about you are talking in quality terms for the next uh, next 3 uh, years or 5 years what the company is going to do how they are going to meet the challenges and are they fully geared up for it Uh, because stock market always uh, values the uh, future valuation. If you agree with me, so my ROC will depend on that also. I will cover. So have yes. I will cover this question in very detail when I am talking about cyclical cycles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there was one question I remember that uh, DB reality is here and you have not said DB reality. Ko kyu nahi bola hai baad? First of all, uh, top three or top four companies you have to uh, take for buying purposes, and uh, you you don't have to go for the other one. Uh, the the second is the reality sector is going through a down cycle. So, a uh, question you have asked is that what is the future? Now this this chart is showing its future in itself. सेक्टरल साइकिल जब आती है जब सेक्टर्स गो थ्रू डाउन साइकिल एंड अप साइकिल नाउ व्हेन एवर सेक्टर्स गो थ्रू अप साइकिल द ऑल द कंपनीज डू गुड देयर स्टॉक प्राइसेस डू गुड देयर मार्जिंस आर बेटर देयर सेल्स आर बेटर देयर आरओसी इज बेटर बट व्हेन द सेक्टर इज डाउन देन व्हिच कंपनीज आर परफॉर्मिंग दैट इज क्वालिटी इन्वेस्टिंग इज फॉर अस्ट फॉर्म तो अगर मैं आपको बोलूं कि आ, ये आईफोन है ये टूटता नहीं है 
तो वट द फर्स्ट थिंग यू विल डू इज आप एक हैमर लेकर आओगे और आप इसकी स्क्रीन पर मारोगे राइट तो द ओनली वे टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वालिटी इज टू लेट इट गो थ्रू हार्ट कंडीशन तो वट वी आर डूइंग हेयर इज वी आर टेकिंग द सेक्टर विच आर इन हार्ट कंडीशन एंड वी आर रेंकिंग द कंपनीज विच आर डूइंग ग्रेट इन दैट कंडीशन so real estate is doing very bad from last 4 5 years sector sector wise so in that sector what are the companies that are performing very well so even though the real estate sector is down 10% 20% arvin smart space has given sales growth of 23% roc of 17% and it's available at 1.2 pyb ratio so this is quality investing in its purest form when the stock is working the stock price is going high everyone can say this is a quality company this is not a quality company but when the sector is out of favor that is where we understand what is actually quality so i'll go forward i'll, uh, I'll describe it in when the cycle is uh, presented so after we rank these companies top 3 and top 5 We go through small quality checks. पहली चीज तो हम ये देखेंगे कि company has ten year history or not. It should have at least ten year history in the market and fifteen twenty year history overall. Then we will see the earning uh, EPS growth and ROC and book value growth for last ten years. What we are looking for is not uh, there should be extraordinary ten percent twenty percent. What we are looking for is consistency. Just like uh, uh, this, you can see in the screener also. One company I have put compounded sales growth. So I can see seven percent, six percent, thirteen percent. I can see profit growth eleven percent, eight percent, thirty-two percent. So I will go and see year wise. What I want is consistency. Ten percent, eleven percent, twelve percent, minus uh, minus one percent. Then Plus five percent. It should not be very abrupt. It should not be plus forty percent, then minus thirty percent, because those companies are not predictable. And big money is made in companies with predictability. So I will look at these things: ten-year sales growth, promoter holding, and then there are three flags which I see red flags. One is promoter pledging. Promoter should not pledge. uh their uh, promo, uh, their shares that second is quality turnover ratio that is that other income should not be greater than more than 10% of the total sales and that is third is interest coverage matlab uh whatever company is making in operating profits should be greater than interest it is paying pata chala ki debt aapne liya hai aapka interest hi nahi ja pa raha jitna aap paisa bana rahe ho usse so interest coverage at least they are they should be covering their interest by the profits they are making uh there is there is a technique what people show that uh, you go on screener and uh, you put uh, sales growth more than 30% uh, 15% roc more than 15% and uh, debt by equity less than 1% i think what the problem with this is See, we are buying out of favor stocks. So those stocks are not doing very well from last five seven years. If they are not doing well from last five seven years, there is a reason why, right? Their ROC can be ten percent only for last three years. Their sales can be uh, maybe seven eight percent only. Maybe their uh, return on equity is very less. Maybe their profit growth is less. So they are undervalued for a reason. so that is why i don't i do not uh, recommend going to screens and filtering out like this instead of that you go in each and every company and you look at their sales growth and profit growth for last 10 years after this due diligence whatever top 2 3 companies you find you can buy all uh, those 2 3 companies uh, so this is what we covered is uh, what to buy so now i will focus on when to buy ki khareed to liya abhi khareedna kab hai matlab uh, i have the stock i have three stocks 
now I want to buy them, but when to buy? Buying price and selling price. So for that we have to understand the market structure. हमने ये साइकल का चार्ट बहुत देखा है बीसी की पहले डिसबिलीफ आता है फिर होप आता है मार्केट में फिर ऑप्टिमिज्म आता है फिर बिलीफ थ्रिल पीपल गेट यूफोरिया देन पीपल बिकम कॉम्प्लिसेंट एंड एंजाइटी डिनाइल पैनिक सो इट्स नथिंग बट अ मार्केट साइकिल स्टॉक्स गो अप स्टॉक्स गो डाउन द प्रॉब्लम इज पीपल थिंक दैट सिंस द स्टॉक इज गोइंग अप इट विल ऑलवेज स्टार्ट टू इट विल ऑलवेज गो अप like uh, the stocks which have done 5x 7x in last two years people are very bullish on them in this correction so that's not a great idea i will show you how to understand the psychology of market cycle you have to understand three cycles so this chart uh, this chart is actually very correct but it is also very useless if i ask you where are we right now so i don't think anybody can answer that the last uh, when in 2020 when market corrected and uh, in may people were saying that we are in euphoria zone well. may 2020 because the market has gone up 20% uh, 10 to 15% the stocks were 40 50% of march level so people were like ki this is euphoria zone the fundamentals do not support it the companies are going to uh, have zero sales zero profit because of the corona uh, this uh, Uh, lockdown so there was a campaign sell in may and go away but market did not correct then people say that the same thing in august kyunki june quarterly results august mein aate hain and june quarterly results were supposed to be wipe out so people said ki august mein correction aayega hi aayega we are in euphoria zone it did not come after that november 2020 us election people said he uh, after this stock will fall the stock did not fall the stock market did not fall after that the same thing happened uh, during budget last year 2021 so for last two years people are trying to predict this euphoria and what has happened we have already seen stocks have only made highs and highs and highs now people are saying that this correction will go uh, the, the, the stocks after this correction will go up nobody knows what will happen but the the the, the point i am trying to make is this to understand this chart nobody can place himself on this chart basically unless you understand cycle so what are the cycles we have that you have to understand there are basically three cycles economy cycle business cycle sentiment cycle so economy cycle is very simple countries go through uh, boom and bust so it's very uh, uh, linear you can say jaise ki maine pichle jaise ki maine 7 8 saal ka chart rakha hua hai agar hame baat karna hai ki hamari economy kya kar rahi hai so it's 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 a no brainer it's been doing great from last 10 years 20 years the average gdp is 6 to 8% so this is the economic cycle as you can see so if i have to uh, plot it for 7 years economic cycle is going up second is the business cycle how businesses are doing how, how businesses are doing businesses go through up cycle and down cycle so what are the businesses that were not doing great in 2019 auto sector the, they are now supposed to do great okay specialty chemicals were not doing great in 2018 2016 it has worked fine it sector was very laggard uh, for 3 4 years now it sector is moving so business cycle works like this some like some businesses have a business cycle of 3 years 4 years some commodity cycles have 7 uh, years 8 years why businesses go through uh, ups and downs because of the commodity price because of the agriculture product price basically if you are uh, working in some commodity business and uh, like uh, uh, you are working in a steel industry so steel ka bhav jab bhi upar niche jayega your business will do up and down if you are in agricultural products agricultural ke products ke bhav upar niche jayenge you, your business will go up and down so margin will hit and that is how business cycle works and the third is sentiment cycle 
सेंटीमेंट साइकिल इज बियर फेस एंड बुल फेस दैट फेस कम्स हम देखते हैं हर साल एक बार स्टॉक मार्केट ऊपर जाता है एक बार नीचे जाता है स्टॉक्स स्टॉक वाइज अगर मैं बात करूं तो 20 परसेंट आप बीस परसेंट डाउन तीस परसेंट आप तीस परसेंट डाउन बहुत बड़ी बात नहीं है गिवन द सेम फंडामेंटल कंपनी के फंडामेंटल एक साल में एक बार आते हैं क्वार्टरली रिजल्ट को अगर हटा दिया जाए तो बट फिर भी स्टॉक प्राइस अगर आप देखोगे तो प्लस माइनस ट्वेंटी और थर्टी परसेंट करना बहुत कोई बहुत बड़ी बात नहीं है मिड कैप में स्मॉल कैप में तो लार्ज कैप में भी प्लस माइनस टेन टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट तो ऊपर नीचे होता ही होता है तो दैट इज नथिंग बट सेंटिमेंटल साइकिल सो वट वी आर फाउंड आउट फ्रॉम द नंबर दैट स्टॉक प्राइस इज ए प्लस बी प्लस सी सो दिस इज इकोनॉमिक साइकिल business cycle sentimental cycle stock price when i superimpose these three cycles i get stock price and this is how stock price looks like so what we try to do is what we try to do is we try to uh, buy here 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 is this zone because the big money is going to be made for the people who are going to buy here Not for the people who are going to buy here, who are going to buy here. एक चीज मैंने बोली थी कि दब कुछ लोग ऐसा कर रहे हैं कि पिछले पांच सात साल पिछले तीन साल में जिन्होंने five x seven x दिया है उनको buy करना. Why that is not a great idea? I will show you now. So let's say IT company. IT company is specialty company, specialty chemical. The business cycle is already up, so it's like near this zone because of this uh, Russia war. The sentiment cycle is down. Okay, so they are buying basically here or here. So basically they are buying here. So business cycle is up. The stock has already priced in whatever fundamentals the stock is going to give. Now because of the sentimental cycle, it is less little little below. So basically either they are buying here or they are buying here. and that is not a great idea because in the long term you are going to underperform you can they may make 30 40% in the short term but in the long run they are going to underperform because the business cycle has already worked only the they are only playing on the sentimental cycle so we have to focus on the companies where business cycle is low and the sentimental cycle in itself low right now we have a mathematical model for that this also uh, it was it is very hard to uh, explain here so i am just uh, explaining it in layman terms sentimental cycle is low right now jaise ki jitna bhi hamara humne dekha hai abhi because of the russia war and all market has corrected very much now all we have to do is we have to buy undervalued stocks right now but undervalued stocks tobacco companies uh, engineering construction companies uh, real estate and uh, i think uh, hotel sector so all these four companies if you see they have not uh, given any returns for last 4 5 years and they come in this zone and this is where going to, which is going to make you big money that is going to be, make you 4x 5x in next 2 3 years so uh i was talking about uh, the model here what we do is we calculate what we do is we reverse engineer this so the stock price we reverse engineer it into economic cycle actually we don't have to take care about this because if you look at 20 year 30 year chart company is already uh, the country is already growing right so the growth is already there 6% 8% so only have to focus on business cycle and sentimental cycle so what we do is we calculate minimum intrinsic value and maximum intrinsic value of any company uh, given the fundamental the fundamentals are book value earning per share uh, debt cash so we calculate minimum intrinsic value of the company and maximum intrinsic value of the company minimum intrinsic value is the uh, is the price from which the stock price should not go down the maximum intrinsic value is the price from which the stock price should not go up so ek uh, technical indicator hota hai uh, kuch uh, limit karta hai jo basically humne wo fundamentals mein kiya 
so we calculate every year minimum maximum intrinsic value minimum intrinsic maximum intrinsic value minimum intrinsic value maximum intrinsic value and we wait for the stock to come to its minimum intrinsic value and then we buy it that is the under valuation for us we buy this company here and we wait for the cycles to come if the sector is going through a down cycle we check our its margins we check uh, its profit growth over the quarters over the year and uh, once the cycle comes we wait for it to go to maximum intrinsic value and then we sell it here and that's how we create a 4x 5x and 7x so uh, from this uh, strategy this is some of the examples that we have uh, uh, made this is a chart of vidhi uh, that uh, we bought at uh, 59 rupees we sold near 250 rupees we made nearly 7x on this one the the second stock is i think uh, tata motors i cannot see uh yeah the second one is tata motors we bought uh, at very bottom we bought at 90 rupees and then we bought it at 70 rupees and uh, we have sold it just now just to uh, get some liquidity at 450 rupees so that has become 7x for from the bottom prices okay this is a grm overseas we bought it uh, in june 2020 at 150 rupees uh from today's prices from that prices today is 43x but we bought we sold it at 8x uh, we didn't know so it has become ultra multi bigger the fm industry we bought at 360 we bought at uh, and then 280 we averaged down today it is uh, 1200 or something ramco system we did the same at uh, 110 when we got the news that uh, vijay kedia has bought uh, we did the analysis we bought after him uh, so that also we sold at 500 gnxl same thing we did 160 we bought and we sold uh, near 900 rupees so in this chart it is looking very easy but i will let me go through again with this chart the only thing difficult in value investing is time vidhi we bought here after you can see 8 9 months it did not do anything it takes time for the market to understand the stock value this is the only uh, you can say con there are a lot of pros big money is made but there is one con that it takes market uh, to understand its value and uh, when market understands its value it rewards you handsomely so we bought it in 2019 and uh, we sold it in 2021 but for 9 months it did not do anything in fact it went down only so and same thing happened with tata motors for 3 4 months it did not do anything 5 months it did not do anything for grm okay it were we were lucky here but uh, in fm industry 4 5 months 6 months did not do anything Uh, Ramco system we bought after here so okay but GNA also four five six months it did not do anything so this is how value investing works uh, you have to buy and you have to sit fundamental investing is all about sitting uh, so I showed you my winners now I will show you some of my losers from this strategy it's only fair that we look at both. so uh, this is uh, the chart of uh, ongc we bought at 100 rupees and uh, for i think 12 months it did not do anything it actually went down on 66 i didn't have cash to buy it more here uh, because it was corona time and i had already deployed my money right now it is 165 nearly this chart is little uh, outdated it is right now 165 and uh, Union Bank, we bought it at forty-eight and then averaged at for twenty-three. Right now it is forty rupees. Uh, UFO, we bought at hundred rupees. Right now also it is going from hundred only. And Jagran, we bought at sixty-four and uh, we sold after at sixty-four uh, only. So one thing I like about losers is in value investing when you lose money, you do not lose a lot of money. 
as you can see these are our loser like they are given uh, 10% 20% 15% over 2 years 3 years return so these are our winners winner we are films is a micro cap 641% tata motors 629 Uh, Vidhi became six x, Tejas Network became five x, DNXL became five x, Arvind became four x, uh, actually five x. Uh, National uh, Aluminium became four point three x, and uh, these also become four x and three x. One of the losers we have. So as I as I told you, even though the stock, uh, the the financial deteriorated, like in case of Jagannath Prakash, after after lot, the financials actually deteriorated after one year. even though that happens the sentimental cycle because of the sentimental cycle the stock goes 15% 20% up and down in every year so we we wait for that sentimental cycle and we try to sell it at least fd ka cost ka cover ho jaye right so for two years we we took uh, 16 16% uh, in these return and uh, these four companies we are still holding which are in minus and uh, uh, minus 2% minus so this is where you win the game this is where you win the long term gain so when you cap your losses extraordinary cagrs are the only outcome because you will always have winners in trading also we see we will always have some winners but what we lose it what decides whether we are going to create wealth over the time or not so in this cases we have the least amount of losers and even though we have losers they are losing us basically nothing so uh these so are Nikhil, i have a one question on this can i ask one question yeah yeah sure nahi suppose we make an analysis or suppose you make an analysis of winners versus losers okay now can you can you identify on which parameter your strategy was failed in this one can you filter can you make a next filter on the basis of that parameter also If this param because of this parameter my these are come in the loser category. If I remove that uh, parameter, probably your uh, probability of winning will be higher. It's just an observation. Yeah. Yes. So it's also based on cycle. So whatever sectors. So we bought auto. We bought uh, IT. We bought five G stocks. We bought uh, we bought uh, textile stocks. We bought this um, power stocks, and we also bought media stocks. We also bought uh psbs we also this is also psb this is also psb this is also government company so and uh, uh so basically all the companies you can see here might be government companies or the sectors which have not worked till now like gst industry coal uh, this uh, tobacco sector has not worked till now okay lubricant stocks are down because of the ev uh, the ev ka jo chal raha hai hawa uski wajah se lubricant stocks are down movie stocks are down because of the corona this is again lubricant company so you can see one uh, the similarity here is they are either down uh, the sectors are either down due to corona or they are government company so uh, this is a very actually good point we also observed that ki government companies are uh, at one after one point of time they are going to disappoint you they are eventually going to disappoint you so uh, but since they were very undervalued so we bought them anyway and uh, these returns are excluding of the dividends so uh, if you look at lig housing finance it has given us handsomely uh, this uh, returns of these dividends coal india it's not in there because it has given um, good returns over last 3 months otherwise it was also one of our loser but if you look at dividends they have given us very good dividend so uh, this is so if the sector runs from here i am still bullish on these companies castrol lubricant whenever lubricant uh, sector goes up castrol and gulf oil will be the biggest winner of out of this because of the ranking system same goes for vst industry when the uh, tobacco sector goes up vst industry will be the biggest winner out of this and same for movies company when the sector goes up ufo will be the biggest winner and that is why we are holding these companies maybe not uh, now maybe not 6 months maybe in 8 months 12 months but this 
will work work only if their fundamental decrease then only you will sell it so uh so uh, we have covered what to buy we have covered when to buy a last four year cagr you can see uh, is 31% so we have covered what to buy and uh, when to buy after that there is one more important thing is allocation so allocation is very much important in personal finance and wealth creation you have to ask yourself some questions if you are going to work on allocation first question is are you going to uh, be in market for long term you have to be in market for long term if you your answer is if your answer is no then don't invest see you can invest in companies for 3 years 4 years 5 years but you have to be in market for 10 years 15 years 20 years if your uh, horizon is short term then don't invest if your uh, horizon is uh, long term yes if your answer is yes then you have to ask yourself one more question are you going to be a full time investor if you are going to be a full time investor if your answer is yes then you have to invest 100% in equity you can diversify here like you can buy real estate you can buy gold or uh, real estate companies instead of buying real estate you buy real estate companies instead of buying gold you buy a uh, gold mining companies you buy uh, companies which trade in gold jewelry gems so that you do here not there for first 0 to 5 years you can buy it you can have 80 stocks 100 stocks also in your portfolio so you can diversify as much as you want instead of diversifying some paisa mf mein some paisa ppf mein some paisa diversify here after 5 to 7 years you can consolidate to 35 stocks after 7 years as per your temperament so whatever your temperament allows after 7 or 7 years you can do that and if you are not going to be a full time investor i would suggest you to invest 100% in equity diversify between three advisors one can be value uh, value advisor growth advisor and one can be technical uh, momentum advisor after three years you choose whoever advisor has given you least sleepless nights because in the long term in the long game दस साल पंद्रह साल में इट्स मोर अबाउट द बिहेवियर इट्स लेस अबाउट द सी एच डी आर सो हुएवर हैज गिवन यू लिस्ट स्लीपलेस नाइट्स सम पीपल आर वेरी कंफर्टेबल व्हेन द स्टॉक प्राइस इज गोइंग अप दे स्लीप लाइक अ बेबी एंड व्हेन द स्टॉक प्राइस इज गोइंग डाउन दे हैव अ प्रॉब्लम एंड सम पीपल हु आर वैल्यू इन्वेस्टर्स लाइक मी व्हेन द स्टॉक प्राइस इज गोइंग अप व्हेन द स्टॉक प्राइस इज गोइंग डाउन वी आर वेरी कंफर्टेबल बिकॉज़ वी बाय मोर एंड मोर and uh, when the stock price is going up from a level for for like 200 300% it has moved then our heart beat start racing so it depends from person to person and uh, from personality to personality so if you are going to be full time investor then invest 100% in equity the focus will help you to become better investor every day basically diversify here and buy as per your temperament if you are not going to be full time investor just uh, diversify with means three advisors and you can go ahead uh the behavior here is a uh, very important aspect as i told you so basically uh, it's one of my uh, motto buying peace in chaos is value investing so when there is chaos everywhere you buy something which nobody is buying that is value investing in 2019 when uh, auto companies were shutting uh, shutting their production shops uh, like mahindra and uh, all those and they were asking for incentives they were saying ki we have to fire a lot of employees and uh, that time i was buying auto at auto and delivery companies i showed you gnx l pm industry examples people were crazy about fmcg people were crazy about Uh, one stock called uh, Hindustan Lever, Nestle. Other stocks are also there. I'm just I don't want to. 
in last two to three years they have underperformed a lot and auto auto ancillaries have become 3x 5x 7x in 2020 pants and specialty chemicals chemicals people were crazy about we were buying psu we were buying power sector and others because in 2020 all the sectors were at uh, undervalued because of the uh, corona 2021 people were crazy about it companies and specialty chemicals we were buying real estate companies and hospitality companies and uh, 2022 what is next is uh, people are buying now people are buying auto ancillary companies i can see some of the fundamental investors since i am very active on twitter they keep talking about uh, psus they keep talking about auto ancillaries which we have bought in 2019 and 20 i have already become uh, three times and uh, two times and 2.5 times from our prices now we are focusing on engineering and construction companies and pharma so this is how sectoral rotation works till when the fundamentals will come till when the momentum will come in the stock the stock will all stock would have already given 150 200% return so that big money uh, will get lost from your portfolio if if you don't understand the value and uh, in the end uh, its uh, value is not found in crowd it's a lonely road uh everybody wants to attain x but when you tell them to buy undervalued companies sometimes they are not uh, okay because undervalued companies means the stock price is going down not the not the up and a lot of people have a problem with uh, buying companies which are out of time so that is again behavioral aspect but that is what we do when stock price is going down it has made a very uh, bad move that is when we come in and buy and third thing is have conviction and patience and uh, this is the rarest of them qualities so uh, i think uh, this kind of patience you need in trading also but uh, the, the amount of patience you need in investing is also very high you have to wait for four months not just four months nine months as i showed you nine months 12 months the stock is doing nothing so uh, so this is uh, my take on value investing and uh, uh, i i i covered what to buy when to buy behavioral aspect if you want to get connected with us these are our social media platform you can connect on us on uh, twitter you can uh, you can mail us what we what i was talking about uh, google sheet i was talking about ki hum log google sheet aapko de denge the the sectors which are top 3 already in on the different sectors you can just refer our google sheet you can mail us on this gmail id and uh, we will send you the google sheet and uh, uh, you can refer it every quarter and uh, you can see what are the top 3 stocks one of my technical trader uh, friend what he does is he uh, takes top 3 stocks and then he do momentum investing also i don't know how that works but he is saying that uh, it's it's working very good can so, you show the google sheet now can you show the google sheet sample google sheet google sheet sample uh, it's in uh, the or aapne ko if you made some portfolio or somebody you can show it how your google sheet is working okay i don't have it right now but uh, i will send it to you on the uh, on okay. your whatsapp agar aapke ab isi mein to you can show it ha uh, it's basically i'll show you it basically looks like uh, this only this ranking system uh, that i have showed okay uh, this one it basically looks like this all you have to do is you have to uh, uh what you have to do is you have to filter on based on this you have to go here total rank filter and uh, it will show from uh, in, in in ascending order it will show and you have to uh, look at top 3 companies that is So we have to select in each sector, or it will come for the all uh, 500 or 1000 companies. How it will work? There are two Google Sheets. They are, one is mm-hmm. sector wise, and uh, the other is the whole company, 2500 or something. All the companies which are in NSC. So, so we can select on the basis of that also. All the 500 companies or 1000 companies, we can select. Uh, we can have the ranking uh, on the basis of that also. Huh? Yes, you can do that. Also. The very backtest good, good. I have done that I have done uh, is basis on 2500 stocks only. there is a uh, but 
improvised version says that i will only go in out of favor sector why is that now there can be some question that uh, why not on all the 400 4000 companies all the 2000 3000 companies i cannot do that so uh, as a fundamental investor the common belief is that the uh, stock performance the company's performance fundamental comes first and then the stock price moves but in reality it does not happen as a technical investor you should know that sometimes when the good financial results are coming before that a lot of move comes so when you buy hot stocks like companies which are in hot sector and hot uh, uh, sectors and they are going great results from last uh, four quarter five quarter already that price is already priced in that uh, that move is already priced in in the stock price and that is why in order to take that 40.7% i i told you cagr we have to go in out of favor sectors because they they have not performed better and whenever they perform better whenever their cycle comes we, you are going to have a bigger move you are going to have uh, that you are going to capture that 40.7% hi hi i have a question uh you mentioned uh, actually two questions uh, one is if you can go to that slide where you have shown the intrinsic value uh, maximizes and you take a call to sell it and the intrinsic value is minimized uh, where you take a call yeah this one yeah so first question is that this max intrinsic value and min intrinsic value uh, how do you derive this indicator how do we come to know that uh, we have top to it or how can we get this particular thing in any of the chart or it is a formula which we have to uh, come to uh, this calculation is uh, by our mathematical model okay. that is little bit complex to understand that is why we have not shown or shared it with anyone because it can be miscon uh, misconceptualized this can be misunderstood and we know the concept behind it but in layman terms i have told you this is nothing but uh, a plus b plus c economic cycle you don't have to worry about it's already 6% 7% for last 20 years 30 years business cycle all the companies which are in their down cycle okay uh, like there is one company i was tracking right now is krbl it's hmm. a very good uh, food packaging company it has an odd its own issues promoter related but the fundamental wise company is very great and uh, so but uh, that is uh, trading at a pe of uh, 7 8 9 or something and sentimental cycle we saw uh, recent uh, uh, recent you can say crash so we saw recent crash in the market so basically we know that somehow we are coinciding here the business cycle is already down the valuation cycle is already down it is on 7 8% and right now the market has corrected so you are definitely buying somewhere here 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 i don't know whether we are buying here so and we are not trying to capture that also we are trying to buy here understand okay no, but uh, my, this business my second, yeah my second question is that uh, uh, we talked about your winners and losers now winners we understand that when it uh, the max intrinsic value is does then you exit out losers what is the criteria like is it like time or is it It's like a percentage fall from the your bot price because I think that is not the criteria because you bought the Union Bank or some bank at when it uh, came down to twenty three as well from forty you had price you had bought something so what is the exit criteria for the losers? Okay, I'll tell you. Uh, I showed uh, see first what we do is we calculate minimum and maximum intrinsic value every year whenever the fundamental deteriorates whenever the fundamental You say the uh, whenever the fundamental decreases, the minimum intrinsic value will also go down. Now we have two calls to make: a, either we average down; b, we exit. Right? There are only two options here. No third option. So when to average down and when to exit is the simple question. Now we will go again on the same thing we did: quality checks. we will look whether company has pledged like in case of uh, jagran prakashan the promoter pledged its stock holding so 
what we did we waited for 10% up movement uh, actually it went to 40 rupees also we bought at 64 it went to 40 so it was also because of the corona we waited for it to come and it went to 68 we exited it 68 69 i think okay since other thing is quality turnover whether the other income has increased a lot from its sales and third is interest compensation whether the company is being able to pay its interest if these three red flags are not there i am going to average down if one of these three red flags is there i am going to exit i am going to exit when the stock price corrects from the bottom 20 30% whatever move it gives and uh, i am going to sell it understand i can put all these conditions in the scanner uh, scanner dot in also no nikhil ji uh screen all the conditions what you have shown i can have in the scanner i can sort out the uh, companies on the basis of that yeah 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 i have okay. i have downloaded so, this data from cleaner on this so in 2008 so the result will be same the result will be same or you have modified some uh, some of the parameter uh see we are, what i am talking about is here yeah, these na uh -huh. yeah yeah the so result will be exactly the same you should do it i think you should do this exercise for last 10 years last 15 years acha acha the same parameter if we take the same scanner will give the same result ha huh? okay. exactly because achha, we have done achha. it from screener itself uh, in 2018 screener used to give this all data for free now you have to take premium so uh, okay yeah so we have the premium uh, if you want we can also share that data there that excel sheet also look at it very good ne acha banaya aapne very good फैंटास्टिकोलरी on this basis only on this concepts only we have created this up this our small case we have already made one portfolio where the out of favor stocks are very cheap valuations are already there no no so it is on the same concept of jiroda or you have some different concept jiroda to we can we have to just buy that particular unit then automatically it goes in the that small case of that particular style so you yeah, have the yeah. same concept or different concept yeah yeah same concept it's on small same. case only many small case mein they have a 8 to 10 type of parameter like you can opt for growth company no, no. you can opt on for on this uh, they will be charging some commission na sir ye hamara alag se ek intrinsic value dot small case dot com humne alag se small case bana ke rakha hai ha but this Haan, is okay. this is on they will must be charging some commission on this na yeah yeah this is premium ha huh? huh? yeah huh? This, this one is this one is a premium one what we are talking about here is we can To provide this Google Access sheet for free. Okay. Uh, one thing, uh, I mean, uh, this uh, you are advisor in the sense we need to invest or only information we are, we are supposed to do on our own. Ah, uh, sir, uh, we do advisory. It means uh, you have you should invest. After that, uh, it's your wish. What I mean is whether we need to transfer the money to you and you oh, will no, manage no. the. No, 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 that's no. what I wanted. Like a portfolio no. manager, no, you are not doing that. No, no, no. We are managing your portfolio passively on small case, so your money will be in your demat, but uh, we will be uh, doing rebalances from here. You will be clicking on your zero da, and whatever we have bought, it will copy in your trades. Uh, okay. What I want, so services? that way, that minimum minimum uh, value, you know, fifty lakhs or something in that case doesn't apply. uh the maximum limit i would say is uh, 30 40 lakhs and the minimum we have kept it on uh, uh it's 60 or 80000 rupees how much oh, you are charging that's good. how much you are charging so the charge for it is uh, 12000 for year and uh, we have given we have started giving a uh, uh, 30 to 40% discount right now so that if you are interested i did not put everything anything here related to premium If you are interested, you can Gmail me. I will uh, share the coupon code, and uh, you can uh, go and buy and take the that coupon co from coupon code. You can take the discount. One more thing, I would like to ask. See, I don't have uh, this Sarod. I have some AFL say. That also will work on for only Sarod account. I need. Uh, excuse me, sir. 
see, I have IAFL account only. I don't have Zerodra. Okay, anytime I can start also. But what I'm telling is with the existing, uh, this thing also, we can uh, we, you, we can take the advisory and do it, no? Yeah, or yeah, Zerodra yeah. code is required? A small case uh, has a collaboration with uh, Zerodha or IFL also. IFL also. ICICI ah. also, access also. Every broker, they have uh, this access. Ah, so, okay, okay. So, no need for new... Uh, new... Finvesia also? Finvesia, <laughs> my, my broker? Finvesia, I have not heard the name, sir. I have not heard the name. Zero brokerage, yeah. Zero brokerage. Okay, what is your name? No, no, it's not me. We have, we have, we have, we have using the services who's giving zero brokerage. So he's not charging any brokerage. So we find it very convenient for our daily trading. That's great. That's great. But investing is so that we have हर क्वार्टरली एक बार ट्रांजैक्ट करते हैं तो वो 20 रुपए देना भी अखरता नहीं है उसके लिए हाँ वो ठीक है वो ना उनको ये डे ट्रेडिंग में थोड़ा यूज़ आता है और छोटा क्वांटिटी भी लेना है तो उसमें यूज़ आता है जैसे करेंसी में अगर एक-एक लॉट लेना है ना तो भी फाइंड इट वेरी वेरी चीप हमने अभी 16 तारीख को खोला है सर 16 फेब को हमने चालू किया है और 16 फेब के बाद सबको मालूम ही है स्टॉक प्राइस गिरा हुआ है अगर आप नीचे जाओगे हमारे परफॉर्मेंस में आप इंडेक्स का परफॉर्मेंस देखो और हमारा परफॉर्मेंस देखोगे तो आप देखोगे कि हमने इंडेक्स को आउट परफॉर्म किया है करीब सात आठ Okay, Mr. Nikhil, when you had shown the business cycle, you know, so uh, it was taking few years, uh, six, seven years. Whereas, you know, when you show that uh, sector-wise, you know, where crowding is there, where service, where value funding is there, for every year you are showing a different uh, sector. So why this uh, uh, discrepancy? Okay. You are talking discrepancy between economic cycle and business cycle? Or no, business cycle and... Uh, no, economic cycle is simply you put a straight uh, up line. Yes. Okay, uh, business cycle is like a sine curve. Uh, you know, it takes uh, six, seven years for the sine curve to start from yes. zero peak and then come to zero. Yeah. Whereas uh, sector wise uh, preference you had shown in a, in a chart where you know you had almost uh, uh, this one, uh, previous, previous sector, previous one. No. Sector-wise, year-wise, year-wise you had shown, year-wise, where the crowding vis-a-vis, -vis, where the value funding is there. That's what you had shown. Yeah. Sir, you have second and third ke bich mein baat ka, It's fine. Business cycle is fine. Okay. Yeah. It takes at least, you know, three, four years for the, uh, uh, for any sector, you know, to perform and then come down. Yeah. Now you show me the other chart where you had shown crowding versus value funding. Your voice you had shown last year, okay. uh, it was uh, not this. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I think current year you had shown capital goods and pharma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will show. Yeah. Ah, this one, this one. This you are, you know, showing value, you are changing every year. Hmm. Uh, last year it was real estate, and this year it is uh, capital goods and pharma. And uh, how, you know, this matches with the business cycle? Because I can't. Uh, uh, you know, this year you are telling capital goods and pharma I invest and next year you will say it is auto. Because? Value. Uh, I'm talking of value. Crowd to chod dije. Crowd is different. That is retail investors uh, uh, preference. Sir, one year is a very long period. Hai. And uh, just one minute. Huh? Mera, I think my screen got hanged. Let me just... Can you see my uh, presentation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is some uh, Wi Fi issue. But we can hear you. Okay. 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 Blank screen. Blank screen. Okay. So uh, basically, you have to share the screen. Okay. Uh, you, uh, you close your existing screen and then start a new screen. Are you close your existing screen and then start a new screen? I, I don't think 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 I don
सो जैसे कि मैंने बताया कि लाइक टोबैको इन टोबैको इट डिड नॉट हैपन टोबैको वाज अंडर वैल्यूड लास्ट ईयर आल्सो टोबैको इज अंडर वैल्यूड टुडे आल्सो बट इन ऑडियो बिजनेस इन लॉट ऑफ सेक्टर्स जैसे कि ऑटो इट वाज अंडर वैल्यूड इन 2019 बट देन आफ्टर दैट यू सी देयर इज 40 50% करेक्शन सो 40 50% अप मूव सो इट हैज कम आउट ऑफ योर बाय गॉन सो इट हैज बिकम not deeply undervalued it is still undervalued but it is not in our buying zone audio bhi nahi there is some wifi disturbance wifi disturbance yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah problem ho sakta hai to inse main thoda baat karta hu aage and i will try to get the this presentation copy and the google sheet and then we'll see ki kya hai matlab kya iska wo hai बट कॉन्सेप्ट अपेयर्स भी बेटर क्योंकि अपने जो मित्रा जी भी जो थे वो भी यही कॉन्सेप्ट बता रहे थे कि हमको फिल्टर yeah. करना है और फिल्टर करके लॉन्ग टर्म के लिए इन्वेस्टमेंट करना है अपने ये साहू जी है वो भी यही बोल रहे हैं कि भाई आधा पैसा आप जो फंडामेंटल वाले स्टॉक में रखो और आधा पैसा ट्रेडिंग में रखो सो so, कॉन्सेप्ट इनके सबके सेम है लेकिन वो फिल्टर करना और लॉन्ग टर्म पैशन रखना एक सबसे बड़ा इश्यू है तो फिफ्टी फिफ्टी हाँ अगर फिफ्टी फिफ्टी वाला फार्मूला यूज करें तो दिसाइट अपीलिंग क्योंकि ये अपना एक भोपाल का मेरा फ्रेंड है ये विनय के थ्रू आए ये तो विल नेगोशिएट एंड विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट कि क्या बेस्ट ऑफर मिल सकता है एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी सिक्सटी परसेंट ट्राई करूंगा मैं ट्राई टू गेट ओके थैंक और नहीं तो नहीं तो एक मॉडल तो ऑलवेज अच्छा उनका आ रहा है अभी वापस लेकिन कम नहीं इस बार कमें अदरवाइज वी कैन ऑलवेज वी कैन ऑलवेज गेट एक एक जने ने कोई मॉडल ले लिया दूसरे ने कौन सा मॉडल ले लिया एंड देन वी कैन कोलैबोरेट दैट आल्सो वी कैन डू इट नॉट नीड कि दैट एवरीबॉडी गो फॉर द सेम थिंग आल्सो दैट आल्सो गुड आईडिया पोटेंशियल दैट इज आल्सो गुड आईडिया या 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 मतलब अपने चार पांच का एक 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 अपने ग्रुप बना लिया एक जने ने एक स्ट्रेटेजी दिख लिया एक ने एक नहीं स्ट्रेटेजी तो ये बहुत अच्छा है ये फिल्टरिंग विल्टरिंग करने के बाद में इट्स रेडीमेड डेटा अवेलेबल हो गया अपने को नहीं तो अपने को सेम सेम बना फंडामेंटल फंडामेंटल बेस करके कोई इन्वेस्ट करना दैट इज ऑल गुड ना दैट इज गुड हां दैट इज वेरी गुड पर प्रॉब्लम ये नहीं कि वो निकाल के अपने को एक उस पे कन्विक्शन होना चाहिए तो अगर किसी ने रिसर्च किया है 15 साल का रिसर्च किया सर उसमें और एक है गौतम बेद करके है उनका भी स्मॉल केस काफी अच्छा है वो भी इनका बहुत इनका गौतम गौतम बेद गौतम बेद इनका सबका इनका सबका कॉन्सेप्ट तो एक ही रहेगा चाहे जुरुदा वाला का ले लो चाहे इनका ले लो चाहे उनका ले लो अल्टीमेटली वो पैरामीटर तो सब लोग सेम ही यूज कर रहे होंगे जहां तक मैं सोचता हूँ तो किसी का भी एक अपने को कम से कम हैंड टू हैंड सर्विस मिल जाता है तो अगर ये हमारे एक रेफरेंस से आए और अपने को इनसे वन टू मैन भी सर्विस मिल जा रहा है तो अच्छा रहेगा ना इनकेस ऑफ ऑलवेज डाउट वी कैन ऑलवेज शॉप टू हेम एंड ये सब कर सकते हैं and and this person is looking to be uh, better approachable jabki wo jiroda wala small case pata nahi kahan hai kya hai i don't know so let's see we'll have a further break aur kisi ko bolna nahi yeah udari ji ha boliye na ye ye advisory jo denge to actually kaise denge apne ko weekly denge kaise denge newsletter aayega kaise mujhe nahi pata fir baat karna i don't know anything about nahi nahi ye bhi zara puch lena nahi nahi kehne ka matlab kya hai ki uska kaisa rahega system क्योंकि लॉन्ग टर्म है है ये ये जो विनय सुनेजा जी उनके फ्रेंड है तो विनय सुनेजा जी अगर कुछ थोड़ा बोलना चाहे तो विनय जी यू वांट टू यस सर नहीं सर बिल्कुल निखिल मेरा फ्रेंड है कॉलेज जूनियर है आई थिंक इज डूइंग वेरी गुड और जो भी मेरा ग्रुप के लिए आप जैसे सब आप बहुत पैशनेट है और इतनी हेल्प कर रहे हैं सबकी तो जो भी बेस्ट होगा निखिल डेफिनेटली कर लेगा मेरे रेफरेंस से जो भी 
आपका आवाज नहीं आ रहा हाँ आप अनम्यूट कीजिए आपको क्या बोलिए हेलो हाँ हाँ आवाज आ रहा है आपका बोलिए अच्छा सॉरी तो मैंने मोबाइल से किया अभी मैं स्क्रीन तो शायद शेयर नहीं कर पाऊंगा ठीक है नो शो ओके तो सर द आंसर टू दैट क्वेश्चन इज कि आफ्टर वन ईयर इफ द स्टॉक हैज गिवन वेरी गुड मूव फोर्टी फिफ्टी सिक्सटी परसेंट एंड इट कम्स आउट ऑफ आर बाइंग पॉन इट डज नॉट मीन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सेल इट बिकॉज वी हैव टू मेक फोर एक्स एंड फाइव एक्स बट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू बाई इट राइट नाउ I have some auto ancillary companies which I bought in 2019. I have uh, PSU companies also which I bought in 2020. I'm not going to exit them. I'm going to hold them, but uh, I'm not going to buy any. What I will buy today? I will buy pharmacy companies. I will buy engineering construction. And since tobacco has also not performed, I can buy tobacco more. Sir, I have to ask a question. Yeah, so the small case is a different format, but now retrospectively, when you have the seen the buying zone, did you do a pyramiding buying after doing a first buying of that oh. stock? And number two thing is that do you sell in a same pyramiding fashion when it approaching to the selling zone? This is one question. Uh, second question is that it's always said that. Rather than getting a fish, you should learn the fishing. So, do you have any sort of that one-to-one -one, uh, learning session that we can learn the, the actual approach to doing all these things? Because I know that whatever you have taught, that has very deep value. Because I read a lot of uh, fundamental things. Uh, superficially, it looks very easy to do the mathematical calculations and. representing the value and various formulas but we when you understand the deeply into that uh, uh, formulas and the businesses it's very complex structure wo aapne bahut ekdam easily dikha it's like a, a first first year student but if someone want to learn the things in a longer prospect and understand the things and the process is there any way that i can approach you Okay. So you can uh, you can answer. All, yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, I will talk about the pyramiding first. Uh, whenever we buy a stock, and we, as I told you, we calculate minimum and maximum intrinsic value. Yeah. So if the uh, if the company has performed very well and the minimum intrinsic value has increased, yeah. so yes, we average up. Okay. Yes, but we will average up at new in minimum intrinsic value only. You will not buy okay. at uh, in any price. So, okay. if the minimum intrinsic value has increased for thirty forty percent, and the stock is also increased by thirty forty percent only, yeah, or maybe for fifty percent only, then we are going to average. Okay. The and same selling. Do, the same thing we will do in selling. When it uh, hits maximum intrinsic value in two point eight, we will start selling. Okay. Uh, then. One what one can do, I don't do it. That we can, he can wait for momentum also. As I showed you in the video, we sold it at two hundred and fifty, but then it went to three hundred fifty also. So, uh, but we are okay in uh, getting. Uh, we are all okay in uh, uh, leaving something on the table because that is our conviction. Uh, so we do uh, the pyramiding, but. Not in uh, one or two, uh, not more than in one or two part. So we will buy, we will sell at point uh, eight times maximum intrinsic value and one time intrinsic maximum intrinsic value. Second thing you said about it's a uh, very complex. I will have to disagree on that. Value investing is all about common sense, sir. The more you make it complex, it will become complex. So it's not about a lot of formula. Even if uh, we talk about a uh, formula of minimum maximum intrinsic value, you will find nothing but a common sense. All you are all you are doing is waiting in uh, these economic cycles and uh, business cycle and all. So it is all about, as Howard Marks has also said, it is all about getting the right view. That's it. You don't have to be very accurate. 
see if the stock is going to go to 400 rupees it doesn't matter aap 40 pe kharido 60 pe kharido 70 pe kharido right it's going to be multi bagger for you and uh, if the stock is going to go down it doesn't matter aapne uh, 3200 pe kharida ya 3400 pe kharida 3600 pe kharida if it has to go to 1000 rupees so you only have to have the direction right that yes next year real estate sector is going to go up the real estate has not worked for last 5 years it should work what company should i buy i should buy these top three companies which intrinsic value framework allow me to do so i will And... have to uh, about teaching sir abhi humne aisa kuch chalu nahi kiya hai we have uh, we have only the advisory service right now सिंगापुर and uh, uh, you have and uh, where are you based nikhil i am based, based currently i am based in mumbai oh mumbai only very good we can meet oh, then okay. <laughs> we can meet uh, in mumbai no okay yeah yeah aadhe member to mumbai wale iske andar ha then yeah. great uh, agar aapne marol ke aas paas aap rehte ho to are main to andheri mein rehta hu yaar i am at andheri only <laughs> are wow. so you have uh, heard of vakant oasis right ने ने आई एम इन एक्सप्रेस एनक्लेव नियर टू बिस्लेरी जस्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ इन द पार्लियामेंट ओके वेरी नियर वी कैन मीट वी कैन सो नो पीके जी यू हैव अरेंज दिस प्रेजेंटेशन एट द वेरी राइट टाइम विद द मार्केट ऑलमोस्ट बॉटमिंग आउट और मे बॉटम आउट इन द नेक्स्ट कमिंग डेज ऑलरेडी बॉटम आउट है आपको ऐसा लग रहा है नो इवन इफ इट गोस डाउन लिटिल फर्दर आल्सो डजंट मैटर वी कैन एंटर विद द सजेशंस फ्रॉम मिस्टर निखिल and mm-hmm. um, so that will add lot of value it's a very very and uh, mr nikhil true to his uh, title ex iit and chennai you know it was so <laughs> analytical uh, the presentation and so lively it was and it added lot of value to our knowledge mm-hmm. and uh, thanks a lot uh, to pkg and nikhil for this wonderful presentation no actually i had received sir, a many requests from members for you no know, fundamental analysis So I was just looking for who can give the no, better insight than Mitra ji. Yeah. Mitra ji has already given two presentations, but it was a long time back. Yeah. So yeah. when I go, when I got an offer uh, through Vinay Suneja mm-hmm. about this offer, I immediately agreed. Okay, we'll have this yeah. presentation. This yeah. was a very great, but uh-huh. a good presentation. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Yeah. We just try to be true to ourselves, and uh, we just try to present whatever the shortcomings are. It's there. It's on the table. Uh, it's not like we. It has done wonderfully for us for last two years. Hey, as I said, as I said earlier, that wherever you are getting a loser, that you should analyze that on what parameter they have failed. That you have yes. to make a slightly improvement. That by why why this particular share is failed, uh, whether there was any problem with the, your data analysis or some parameter, or should we change that parameter? Like that, you can have a further refining of your no uh, this filtering. That you can do. It. I think that's a part of improvisation that happens over the ah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you can do. But there is also one saying that you cannot uh, uh, you uh, uh, you cannot mm-hmm. uh, dodge uh, the ogres. <laughs> you yeah, have yeah, to have that, that, that. It's a part of journey. Yeah, it's yeah. a part of life. Yeah, yeah. Right. That is correct. That is correct. Yeah. Any questions from anybody now? Any questions you want to ask? Yeah. Ne- Nikhil, how yes. many uh, scripts you have generally in your small case? Ah, uh, generally we have twenty-five uh, to thirty stocks. We also are... uh, apart from a small case, we also run an advisory also, ah, uh, where we can we give stocks at the buying price or then in a small case, what is it that ah uh, uh, you buy at the ah uh, at the present price? In long term, it doesn't matter. But uh, in uh, in advisory, what we do is we give uh, buying prices at what what you have to buy, how much you have to buy, and uh, what stocks you have to buy. Achha, uh, 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 Nikhil, uh, what you can keep in mind is see we started this program by Kothariji from trading. Okay, 
and now uh, we are shifting towards looks like uh, uh, value investing. No, 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 not shifting. You have a choice now. You can't oh, say yeah. that you are shifting. Okay. You have a choice. Choice, <laughs> choice. Okay, we are, we are, we have got a choice. And one thing uh, you should remember: most of us are retired people. Mm. Okay, so that thing you should keep in mind. And you are saying long term, long term investing. Long term means <laughs> we may survive long term, but to my understanding, you should also enjoy. And long term means we should get returns within two to three years. That that type of uh, uh, handholding, if you can do nothing like that. Sir, cyclical investing. Me, our jo time period rehta investment ka, ek average rehta hai two point five three years. It can vary from one point five years to five years, but average ek time period two point five years ka hota hai. Maximum of the times, uh, the stocks uh, work well in this this period. So long term, when I say you have to be in market for long term, you have to. Come in market for the perspective that by 10 साल 15 साल 20 साल करना है and Warren Buffett is 90 sir he still talks about uh, long term investing <laughs> <laughs> he has a vision of living up to 100 years <laughs> yeah vision <laughs> <laughs> that I have that vision we are still young you are maybe 60 <laughs> अच्छा there is one question कि what is the process of joining the small case there is one question from Ramesh Bhaira can you reply on that What is the process yeah. of joining the small case? Yeah, uh, sir, small case का मैंने link share किया है, but आप small case पे जाकर intrinsic value search भी मार सकते हो. Achha. Or you can mail us. We have uh, shared our email ID. You can call me. You can take a number from Kotari uh, sir. So आप हमको WhatsApp भी कर सकते हो. So we will send you the link. And uh, you all you have to do is you have to go to small case. You have to connect your broker. They have ninety nine percent of the broker in the India. And uh, all you, uh, and you can subscribe to it. Then second question is and how do we invest? Second question is how do we invest using the Google Sheet of yours? If you can explain, it will be helpful. This question from Chandra. How do we Google invest Sheet. using the Google Sheet of yours? If you can explain, yeah. So as I showed in the presentation, also uh, you go to Google Sheet, you go to sector wise. So whatever sector uh, is the undervalued, four five months I have you ready made diye. जैसे टोबैको रियल स्टेट और इसके अलावा वो कंस्ट्रक्शन इंजीनियरिंग एंड फार्मा इसमें आप टॉप थ्री टॉप फाइव कंपनी बताइए इसका थोड़ा सा ड्यू डिलीजेंस कीजिए रेड फ्लैग्स चेक कीजिए जो रेड फ्लैग्स की मैंने बात की एंड दो चेक दो की रेड फ्लैग्स एंड यू बाय द टॉप आउट ऑफ टॉप फाइव कंपनीज यू बाय टॉप टू और थ्री कंपनी सो दैट यू कैन हैव एंड योर टाइम ऑरिजन शुड भी टू पॉइंट फाइव थ्री ईयर दैट विल गिव यू वेरी एंड समय जो भी प्रेजेंटेशन होता है ग्रुप ओनली देन एनी बडी कैन से इट बट इफ यू दैट परमिशन वाला इशू तो वो आप थोड़ा देख लेना नॉर्मली गूगल शीट में समटाइम यू टू गिव परमिशन एंड समटाइम वी कैन मेक द कॉपी तो आपने क्या सिस्टम रखा है वो आप देख लेना ओके ओके व्हाट एवर इट इज आई विल विल चेक विद माय टीम मेंबर्स एंड आई विल शो इट या या वो कर दीजिए वेरी गुड वेरी गुड ओके एनी मोर और विल एंड एनी मोर क्वेश्चंस ओके नो प्रॉब्लम बट थैंक यू टू हिम एक्सेलेंट प्रेजेंटेशन and uh, co engineers i think we always have a lot of respect with the analytical abilities and the simplicity with which you bring it out so kudos to you for doing a wonderful job thank you so much thank you thank you very thank much you. sir thank it you. is coming from people uh, experienced people like you and i cannot thank enough that we appreciated it enough and uh, thank you very much for a wonderful uh, uh, experience and kotari uh, sir ko bahut bahut thank you unhone opportunity diya hame aane ka uh thank you thank you thank you okay then thanks a lot thank all the members and uh, the presentation copy and the google will be shared in the groups so from there you can you can see and then you can uh, yeah, you can uh, discuss further and if you have any doubt any question you can uh, directly talk to him he has number he has already shared in the presentation also his number and uh, gmail id is there so if you want you can discuss with him with that uh, nikhil uh, 
सर सर ए वन निखिल ये आपका जो ये है ना ये बिल्कुल छोटा वाला स्क्रिप्ट्स में है सो बट और प्लेयर्स आर वेरी बिग देर इनका जो कैपिटल है बहुत ज्यादा है मोस्टली दे आर इन एफ एन ओ तो उस टाइप का कुछ शेयर आप कर सकते हो तो दैट विल बी गिव द बिग बुस्ट टू द टीम सर जैसा कि जो भी सेक्टरल साइकिल की मैंने बात की सम टाइम्स देयर इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी इन स्मॉल कैप सम स्मॉल कैप सम टाइम्स देयर इज अपॉर्चुनिटी इन लार्ज कैप जैसे कि अभी हम लार्ज कैप में अपॉर्चुनिटी देख रहे हैं ऑलरेडी हमने दो तीन स्टॉक खरीद के रखे हैं फ्यूचर में हम और भी बाय करने वाले हैं लार्ज कैप बट जहां भी वैल्यू मिलेगा हम लोग उधर ही जाते हैं तो दे मे कम फ्रॉम स्मॉल कैप एंड जो बड़ा मूव है जो बिग मनी की हम बात कर रहे हैं वो स्मॉल कैप और मिड कैप में अच्छा खासा मिलता है एफएनडो में नहीं कराते हैं आप एफएनडो में आपका कुछ नहीं है सर एफएनडो में तीन महीने का एक्सपायरी होता है प्लस अप्स एंड डाउन्स उतना हम लोग नहीं करते हम लोग इट टेक्स टाइम थ्री मंथ सिक्स मंथ नाइन मंथ हमारे इसमें आधे से ज्यादा लोग जो है वो एफएनडो वाले लोग हैं या 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 ये लोग ज़्यादा अपना जो बीस पच्चीस परसेंट का जो पैसा है वो वैल्यू इंडस्ट्री के लिए कर दो और बाकी your trading or fndo that is what the suggestion is sahu ji bhi yahi bol rahe hain aap bhi yahi bol rahe hain don't put 100% money here don't put 100% money for the trading aadha aadha karke kar lo kya yeah long term investing mein sir ek core portfolio aap please banaiye mera to yahi suggestion rahega usme aap thoda sa pata ho kya liye mr nikhil mr nikhil i am umesh ji you do only for the equity markets or are you are doing in currency also नो सर करेंसी का फाइनेंशियल नहीं होते सर हम तो बिजनेसेस के फाइनेंशियल के बेस पे डिसीजन लेते हैं अच्छा वो तो हम लोग उस करेंसी में कर ही नहीं सकते इट्स नॉट अबाउट टेक्निकल इट्स अबाउट द फंडामेंटल हमारे उमाशंकर जी करेंसी के एक्सपर्ट है तो उनको करेंसी ढूंढते हैं वो सब जगह है ये करेंसी है मास्टर राइट राइट सर भुन उमा सर तो अपना इसमें भी वैल्यू इन्वेस्टमेंट भी एक्सपर्ट है उनका देखिए परसों का ट्रेड सर आईडीएफसी फर्स्ट बैंक का अरे वो तो इन्होंने वो तो जबरदस्त है वो बताते नहीं है ना ये प्रॉब्लम है वो हो गया उनका अदानी विलमर का हो गया अदानी विलमर का वो छुपे रस्तम है करेंसी का वो अपने वहां यूज करते हैं वो चलिए ओके देन थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड देन वी विल मीट ऑन नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट सैटरडे और संडे अभी देखते हैं क्योंकि अभी नेक्स्ट संडे का वेबिनार नहीं है तो शुड वी वांट वेबिनार ऑन सैटरडे और संडे दिस इज क्वेश्चन टू ऑल आई फाइंड सैटरडे इज मोर कन्वीनियंट करेक्ट एनी व्यू ऑन दिस शुड वी कीप आवर वेबिनार ऑन सैटरडे और संडे मॉर्निंग आवर सैटरडे बेटर सैटरडे सैटरडे बेटर विल पोल इट सर हां क्या सैटरडे नाउ विल डू सैटरडे बेटर सर Okay, okay. Then we'll have a Saturday now. So I will keep on the next Saturday uh, some presentation. Okay. So thank you, Nikhil ji, and then we'll thank discuss you. further about how to go about it. And thank you, everybody. And then uh, thank bye. Thank you. Okay. Then. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.